here's what my train layout looks like at night. You've got this little mock-up of the Hormel building over here. It says Hormel on the smokestack. And there's the parking lot. That needs some lines in it. Over here we have a, an old rail yard, a Milwaukee Road rail yard, just under construction. A lot of empty space in here. Here we got some engineers and conductors talking to each other. There's a brakeman. Over here we got an old caboose office. You can't see her, but there's a lady, a, city, a secretary sitting on the side of the caboose. And there's a guy out front getting some pop. And over here we've got uh, a really neat little uh, um, work crew with ballast, working with ballast. Here we got a guard talking to two women entering the uh, American Can Company, which is on the, well, it used to be on the side of Hormel. Here's a guard out front of the building. Um, over here, elderly couple, they're going in to the office. In the back, this is cool, my dad was a meat inspector, a USDA inspector. And uh, that's him, he's right there. He's, he's talking to these three gentlemen. There's a guy over there on a tractor. Um, they're plant workers and he'd go out into the yard to uh, inspect the lard tank cars. One day he was on top of a tank car and he saw a deer hunter. I was talking to a deer with his bow. There's my deer hunter, hard to see. He's right, right back in there. He's carrying a deer on his back. So this is my layout at night. You can see I've uh, I built my own telephone poles. Kind of cool looking little poles. And I built some uh, neat little street lights on them. They're kind of cool. And I made all my trees. I used buckthorn roots. You can see the trees. They'll look, they'll look better later on. I have probably about 70% of the layout done. I have still have some track work to do coming in. That's a two train layout. It's this Milwaukee Road train over here. There we go. Let me get them on there. Milwaukee Road. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right there. Kind of hard to see it. Has a lighted caboose in the back. Little red light in the back of the caboose. And then over here is a Chicago Northwestern uh, Hormel train. Couple Hormel lard cars. I'll have decals that say Hormel Pure Lard on them, those tank cars. And there's the caboose that isn't lit yet, but it will be. I'll turn them on and run it at a uh, little fast. Well, I'll just run them a little faster maybe than I normally do. It doesn't take forever to get them to come around. Okay, here they come. All right, I don't have sound yet or digital command and control, but I'll get all that stuff later. Here we go. There's some telephone poles. There's some scrap metal. There's a coal car in there. Oh, we missed a car. The other train was hidden. Anyway, this is just the beginning of my layout. I'll get, I'll get um, a video of it in the daytime. The trains come around here to the back. Okay, let's just set up right here and see what this looks like. Okay, here they come. Pretty cool, huh? I'm going to use a blue compact fluorescent light to give it more of a nighttime appearance down here. All right, so there's just the beginning of my uh, of the trains that served the Hormel Company, um, the Chicago Northwestern and the Milwaukee Road, and uh, later on I'll add the Chicago Great Western. That ended in 19, on one minute after midnight of 1968. That was the last we saw of the Chicago Great Western. Here, one more, one more view for you. That blue line out of the way. Let's try this a little different. Really cool. It looks neater in a video than it does in real life. The video gets a little more realism. There's the trees again right here. They're kind of different. Oh, and one more thing. Down in here I've got some fake water running through there. I used a epoxy glue. It looks like real water. 
I guess you can't see it at night. You'll go see that when I add the daytime part of the video. Okay, see ya.